I gotta have my weekly dose of Snow White with the red hair. And with this week's episode, we get a little bit of symbolism, which took me by surprise. I mean, I know there's been Snow White symbolism going on throughout this entire series, but there was some symbolism that I did not expect. And it makes me assume that there's going to be some form of dark arc in the future. Let me explain. I don't know how many of you Chibits actually noticed what I noticed. Maybe it's a red herring. Maybe it's just there and I'm thinking too far into it. Maybe it's because I've been researching Tokyo Ghoul for a while now for the past couple hours. It, it could be one of those too. But from what I saw, I'm going to mention this symbolism. We come to find out that these yurei, you know, the, the flowers that were kind of toxic to other herbs, like, you know, how it was toxic killing the entire garden. Well, you had it to where we found out that the characteristics of this flower was kind of reddish. And then if you think about red and the symbolism red has to play in this series, let's look at the title. Snow White with the red hair. The flower that supposedly had this reddish type looking flower was poisonous to other flowers that it was around. And if you think about it, Shirayuki could be considered that flower, that toxic flower. Red. Symbolism between the red hair and the red flower. But it's not just that. The way it was mentioned, it's like Shirayuki is going to be toxic. She is going to be a slow, toxic poison around everyone around her. A sweet, toxic poison. I, I just hope that is a red herring and I'm just thinking too far into it, but the way that was done, it, it makes me assume that was symbolism for that. You know, how the flower and her was kind of compared together. It makes me think that she is like a poison to the prince and then everybody else around her. So let me know your thoughts on that one. I mean, Chibits, do you agree with that? I mean, am I just seeing things, or you think that symbolism is actually there? Because, I mean, this series has used Snow White symbolism. We're not, I'm not even going to deny that, and I don't think any of us should deny that. There has been Snow White symbolism, so obviously the writer of this series knows how to use symbolism, so that might be possible. That could be symbolism for a future arc. Let me know your thoughts on that. So, back to this episode, besides the symbolism part... The main focus of the episode is Shirayuki using her wits and smarts to be able to overcome the challenge presented before her, and she does a good job. I mean, she manages to figure out what was wrong with her garden. She manages to figure out, you know, that there was like a toxic flower planted up above, getting in the water and killing off her garden, and she went out of her way to actually replant these flowers to where it didn't kill the entire garden off, which indirectly caused it to where she passed her test. So, I mean, the main point of this episode was just Shirayuki overcoming this trial, passing the test, and then getting to meet more of Rue's character and see kind of his characterization, along with seeing what the hardships the prince had to go through when he had to deal with poison, when he was getting injected with poison, for instance, to get immunity to it. And that's kind of what the episode was about. I wonder, though, what that prowler has to do, though, with the story, because the Prowler wasn't really caught from what I can remember, like, you know, from when I watched the episode, the Prowler got away, but he was, you know, he locked the door, tried to expel Shirayuki, so I wonder who that dude was, what type of role he has, and why was he there, and then, you know, like, why did he do that to Shirayuki of all people, like, why did he specifically target her out of everyone, so, I wonder if that dude, whoever that was, is gonna pop up again, in this series, or if that was just there to be there, just to add a little bit of drama for Shirayuki can overcome that trial presented before her. So one of those two are most likely crap, but we'll, we'll see as the series progresses on. But the episode of Roll had this really good atmosphere about it, this nice, good, heartwarming atmosphere that was very sweet and innocent, and that's what I've come to actually know and love from this series, because I think the majority of us that are watching the series just watch it to relax. It's a relaxing series, just... To enjoy a nice good romance series with a prince, good likable characters, and good voice actors, with some nice good music, I mean when some good music does play, it's an enjoyable series that gets everybody relaxed, and I mean that's exactly what Snow White with the red hair is, and this episode is no exception to that, so... Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it, it was a great episode, I enjoyed seeing Shirayuki once again overcoming her trials and being smart and a very good female character that could stand up on her own two legs, so, don't your thoughts in the comments below. Y'all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.